Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to show you how to replace a sky with an image. I'm going to be using a night sky image of the stars and all of that stuff. It's all within Final Cut Pro, no plugins. I'm actually really happy with how this one turned out, so let's get into it. So, what we're going to do is going to copy this clip, paste it on top. The next thing we're going to do is on the top shot we are going to add a mask draw a mask and then all you want to do is it doesn't have to be super detailed just go underneath the outline of the of the mountain range there so just leave a little bit of a gap Okay, so once you've done your rough outline of a mask, just check check the clip to make sure it stays stays in place and doesn't go over onto the sky. And it almost goes over there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add I'm going to add a couple of keyframes in here. Transform and control points, just hit those. And then towards the end of the clip where it almost goes over, I'm just going to move that down a little bit. So then, yeah, it's a little bit better. Okay, so once you've added your mask, you want to go to the, select the um, bottom clip. And now we're going to add our Luma key. So go to effects, keying, Luma key. And then you're going to want to make it so that it's not actually affecting the clip yet. And then you want to select select where you want the um, sky to start fading out. And then we're going to hit keyframe. Scroll across to where you want the sky to completely fade out. And then what you're going to do is just use these sliders and move them across until the sky is completely faded out. You want to put the Luma roll off up a little bit to about 60. Okay. And if you go to map tools, crush the levels a little bit. and you want it so the sky is completely black. So now you can see the sky fades out nice and slowly. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Okay, so next step. What you want to do is get your background image. I just went on to uh, I just went on to Google, typed in Galaxy and got this pretty cool one. So this is the one I'm going to use to replace the sky with. So what you want to do is you want to drag that clip underneath underneath your shot. And then you can already see that it's pretty much there. But we want to make that look a little bit better. I'm just going to do a little bit of color correction on this just to match up with my footage. So then later on when I do more color correction I can just add an adjustment layer on the top and and then adjust the color on both on the whole project. So I'm just gonna fade up the blacks a little bit and take down the saturation slightly. And so yeah, that matches up a little bit better. Okay, so the next step is what you want to do is use transform to scale to scale the night sky so that it almost matches the movement of the of your shot scale in a little bit add a keyframe before you can see the sky starts fading out so 
so the shot is sort of moving towards us so what you want to do is add another keyframe so the background slowly comes towards us with the shot with the original shot so it needs to come a little bit a little bit more what's also quite cool is you can add a bit of rotation onto the sky I think that looks pretty cool, a bit of rotation that's pretty much done apart from colour correction and all of that stuff so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add an adjustment layer I'm going to add my colour correction I'm going to add my cinematic black bars and there you go, that's how you replace the sky in Final Cut Pro. I uh, hope you enjoyed this one. I think it turned out really, really cool. I'm actually planning to do a proper color grading video for my next tutorial because I use a program called Color Finale, but it's quite expensive and there's actually a way you can do exactly what I do, what I just did then with a free program. So, yeah, look out for that, and I'll see you in the next one. Let me be your high